Hello, Jeff Johnson, creator of Weathermaker. I've added cloud shadows to the latest version of Weathermaker. I'd like to do a short demo, show you how these work. To start off, you can see I'm in the blank scene where I just have the ground and the sky sphere and some light clouds here turned on. You can see in front of me is a shadow from the cloud up there near the sun. I'm going to go ahead and turn on movement and move closer into this cloud shadow here. You can see that the cloud up there on the sun is being shadowed by me down here. There's a couple parameters you can use to tune the shadows. I'll step out of the shadow there so you can see how these parameters take effect. Over on the right, underneath Sky Sphere on the prefab, there's Clouds Appearance. If you look at Cloud Shadow Threshold and Cloud Shadow Power, those control how the shadows look. Cloud Shadow Threshold means that any pixel of the cloud must have an alpha value greater than the threshold in order to render. For example, if you turn this to 1, no pixels will show. The second parameter, Cloud Shadow Power, is how dark the shadow is. As this approaches zero, the full shadow goes through. I will turn this down so you can see what I mean. You have We have a very dark shadow now that doesn't obviously look very good, but uh, gives you an idea of the shape of the cloud. If I ratchet that all the way to the other end, the shadows also disappear. And you can tune this value to get shadows looking however you like. Uh, I've tried to make some sensible defaults so the shadows look good. Um, the shadows are affected by sun position, so you can see as the sun moves away from that cloud, the shadow moves away. Now I'm going to go ahead and increase the clouds now. The shadows are rendered in real time using a very heavily optimized version of the shader and a unity projector. That's on this cloud shadow projector. All of these parameters are automatically set up for you, so you shouldn't have to mess with any of them. The one thing you should note is that the Cloud Shadow Projector ignores transparent FX layers. For example, I've set the moon to be transparent FX because it goes up in the sky, and I don't want you don't want to be seeing cloud shadows on the moon, so I've set the moon's layer to transparent FX so that it doesn't receive cloud shadows. So any material you have where you don't want cloud shadows, simply set it to transparent FX layer. That's all there is to it for Weathermaker Cloud Shadows. I hope that you enjoy it, and please email support at digitalruby.com with any questions. Thanks so much.